supply the demand for designer companion animals, a very large industry has developed. Puppy mills supply dogs for pet shops and export market. Unfortunately, the conditions of puppy mills are far less than desirable for most of the dogs, who are generally treated as breeding machines. In Australia, there are thousands of puppy mills, and these puppy mills produce tens, if not hundreds, of thousands of puppies each and every year. This means that the number of homeless and abandoned dogs in Australia are growing. In Australia, we kill approximately 180,000 dogs every year because of oversupply, making more and more dogs homeless and abandoned. This is all preventable. Councils have an impact on this issue of puppy farming by making the right decisions and taking the correct action. Unfortunately, they have not yet. Councils are spending thousands of dollars on killing dogs in their pounds and at shelters. At the same time, however, they allow breeding of more dogs by issuing permits for puppy farms to operate. Puppy farms such as Pyramid Hill. Pyramid Hill was known to be one of Australia's most notorious puppy factories. Operating under a veil of secrecy for years, puppies were pumped out of this facility and sold to unwitting buyers. It took the brave and painstaking actions of our highly skilled investigators to obtain the very first images from inside this hellhole. Without these critical images, Pyramid Hill would still be in operation today. RSPCA Victoria was able to mount a major investigation of their own, leading a landmark court case. The owners of Pyramid Hill Puppy Farm pled guilty to 240 charges of animal cruelty. These shocking investigation pictures reveal just how appalling living conditions can be inside Australian puppy factories, where dogs are valued only for the number of puppies they can produce. Ninety-nine percent of puppies sold in pet stores come from puppy mills. Nearly one hundred percent of all puppies in pet stores have parasites when they are purchased. Forty-eight percent of puppies being sold were ill or incubating an illness at the time of purchase. Five hundred thousand puppies are born in puppy mills and sold to pet stores every year. Puppy millers can make more than $300,000 growing puppies every year. Almost every puppy sold in a pet store has a mother who will spend her entire life in a tiny cage, never being petted, never being walked, never being treated like a dog should be. Female dogs are usually bred twice a year. At that rate, they usually burn out by age 5, at which time they are killed. About one million breeder dogs 
are confined in puppy mills throughout the country. Oscar's Law is a campaign that enables everyone to make a stand and tell the government that we do not want companion animals factory farmed anymore, and we no longer want the pet industry to mislead us about what is acceptable for our animals. You can help fight the killing of healthy rehomable pets in Australia's pounds. Promote rescue organizations and shelters as the first option of to adopting. And change the way Australians get their pets. Adoption is the intelligent alternative to impulse buying. No puppy factory, whether it is clean, model, state of the art, or otherwise, is the answer to, for man's best friend. Oscar's Law already has a lot of support. Please do support this great cause.